I could already see some of your comments now. You ain't just being an angry boomer, just an old angry yes wrestling fan yelling at the clouds about the world's passing you by and you don't like it. You're just too hard to please. You only got something to bitch about. Well, some of that is probably true, to be fair. Um, and it certainly holds true, I'm sure, to some degree when it comes to professional wrestling because, yeah, I, I don't find it that interesting. And I do complain about it a lot. And maybe some of that is my standards are a bit too high. Perhaps they're unrealistic. But I just don't find it very interesting. Maybe it is for you. Maybe my standards, like I said, are too high. Or maybe yours are just way too low. Or it's a combination of both. Like, it could all be right. Um, I think it's probably some combination of both, honestly. Now... It's certainly not a secret that I'm not exactly a fan of the elite as a group. I'm not a fan of the individual members. I don't really have much bad to say about Adam Cole other than I wish he took a little more pride in trying to look like a professional athlete. You don't have to be a big roided up dude, but you know, you, don't, you shouldn't look like you have the same size arms that I do. Like you're in a combat sport, you should kind of look like it a little bit. Knock me for saying that however you want. Hangman Page isn't exactly my speed. I don't find him terrible. I just don't find him an incredibly interesting or compelling performer. I'm certainly not a fan of Kenny Omega. We know that. And sometimes I have very, very pointed criticism for them for him. But there are moments that I do see some good matches and some good things out of him. Meanwhile, the Young Bucks, I think, could be great. But they've always been the Bucks of Suck to me. Always have been and likely always will be. I don't get the appeal. I never have. And when I think sometimes about maybe my standards are too high, the Bucks of Suck to me are a perfect example of how modern wrestling fans have the bar set way, way, way too low. The one common theme for all of these guys to me is they're just boring as hell. Well, their matches are great. Are they really? What's so different and special about them? Honestly. And don't just say, well, they are. You can't really articulate it. Then they're not. They're not different. They're not special. They're not unique. I feel like a lot of times, if I've watched one Bucks of Suck match, one Kenny Omega match, one Hangman Page match, or an Adam Cole match, if I've seen one, I've basically seen them all. That's not good, and I'm not the only person that feels that way. Why do I say that? Because if that wasn't the case, more people would be watching. More people would be going to their shows. There would be greater demand for the AW product. Well, they tell really good stories. Do they really? Come on. You cannot possibly look at the elite and what they do on AEW programming and say that they put together really good stories and they tell great stories. That ain't the jam. You know that's not true. The characters are unique and interesting. What, what, ba what are you basing that on? Because you know they're not. There's nothing unique or interesting about those guys. I mean, being the elite is great. Well, good for them. Who cares? Next. And again, it's not. It's just dopey shit. All of these guys are the same that they've always have been. Nothing changes. That's dull. That's repetitive. That's boring to me. And what's so ironic is the hardcore fans that are such big fanboys for the elite used to despise that crap with John Cena, as they should have. Like, that is the single biggest knock you can have on Cena for all of his years, was how he never evolved his character. He never really changed his character. That shit was always the same. That gets really old, dull, lame, boring. So if you used to complain about it with a guy like Cena, why would you ignore it because these guys are some of your favorites? Come on. Fans used to complain about Roman Reigns, especially when he was on the scene to 2.0 trajectory, as they freaking should have, because it was terrible. Yet you look at the elite, their matches, their angles, their promos, their look, it's always the freaking same. Always the freaking same. But yet somehow, because they do a bunch of flips and moves and matches, that makes it okay. No, it freaking doesn't. That makes them lazy to me. That makes them... Incomplete talents, one-dimensional talents. You could be a fan of these guys and acknowledge that they have gotten dull. And again, I'm going to point to, if they weren't dull, 
more people would watch consistently every week, demand for tickets would be even greater so they would have to do every bigger venues, more people aren't watching every week, demand for the ticket venues are not any higher than they have ever been because in part these guys that get featured in pretty prominent spots are pretty freaking boring. Don't be all elite whiners about it, just accept that those that don't evolve wane in terms of their impact. And it's okay to own that. And frankly, these guys should too. Because I would argue right now, when I look across the whole landscape of professional wrestling, there are a lot of boring acts, a lot of boring characters. It's hard for, for me to find something that is more boring than the elite, more boring than any of the members of the elite. Because they're always the same. They don't fucking change. They don't fucking evolve. They don't do anything different or unique. They do the same crap. That is boring. But they don't have to be. They could be really interesting with some real changes. They could be one of the most interesting things about AEW and professional wrestling as a whole. And I'm just talking about changing them from face to heel because even when you do that crap with them, they've always been the same exact gimmick, just pretending to be something else. They aren't those same dudes, so shit doesn't fucking work. I'm talking about real fundamental philosophical changes to their characters, their presentation, it could do wonders for them and their careers and the AEW product. Now, just picture this. Imagine if every member of the elite actually dressed like the freaking elite should dress, and that's coming out in designer suits every goddamn week. No more J's and freaking ratty-looking gear. Like, dress like the elite. Dress like you would expect EVPs to dress when they're not going to wrestle that night. Imagine if these guys wielded the backstage power that we know they have behind the scenes on screen and used it to bury people and not with the stupid pot shots I'm talking about, like actually portraying stories where they are burying people and refusing to give them opportunities, making them roll over and job out like that type of shit. We know it's there, so fucking go with it. Imagine if they openly rebelled against the spot fest matches. Imagine if they did that. Now, I know that would be the single biggest, hardest thing for them to do because for so many of them, that's all they know how to do. But imagine if you took the freaking elite and you said they would refuse to ever do the Meltzer driver, no more buckshot lariat, no more BTE trigger, none of that shit. Like basic chain wrestling shit. Working to get other wrestlers' sim signature moves banned, firing wrestlers for doing certain things we told you not to do the freaking 540 splash off the top rope you fucking did it anyways you're gone refuse to wrestle every week like make it actually a big deal when any member of the elite actually does wrestle and put obstacles in their way change the entire style of the way they work their matches no more trying to get five star ratings and in fact Going against that shit. Like, work the way a corporate dude would work. Not some fucking indie bingo hall wrestler would work. You're supposed to be big deals. Act like it. Or imagine if instead of whining about CM Punk and them going back and forth with CM Punk, they embraced working with him and you ran an angle where CM Punk came back and he was their freaking leader and they talked about, you know what, CM Punk is right. This place sucks. We suck. Teach us, O oh wise sage master. And then have their goal to be to run through all the ungrateful ass young talent in AEW. Like the elite have sat there and partially founded this goddamn company and not everybody sits there and kisses their toes for it. Not everybody gives them their roses for it. Imagine if you had them shit talk Coney, Tony Khan on television all the time. You ran an angle at some point where they pushed Tony Khan completely out of the picture and you really truly sold that shit. I'm not trying to sit here and fantasy book this stuff. But what I am trying to point to is when you look at these guys, continuing to go down the same path that they've always gone down to me is freaking boring. And it gets to a point where it's not only a diminishing return, it becomes counterproductive. Every single member of the elite needs a massive character change. That means no more Michael Naka Naka not going to work here in this faction anymore. No more Nakazawa. No more Brandon Cutler Cutler, whatever the hell his name is. 
No more of that dude either. Unless you're literally going to make them your stooges. And what they're doing is they're going around and spying in the locker room and they're stooging on every fucking buddy. Then in that case, you can buy it. In that case, it can freaking work. But I look at Cole and I look at Paige, Omega, the Bucks, and I say, these guys could actually be interesting. But they are not with their current presentation, no matter how much people try to convince themselves they are, no matter how much you have to try and dilute the truth, no matter if you have, how much you have to lie to yourself, they're not interesting. And they grow less interesting every time you freaking see them. It is time for, in my opinion, a dramatic shift in their character and presentation. You do that, you can instantly have one of the most interesting things that AEW has ever put out there because you said, the Bucks of suck aren't going to do the Meltzer driver anymore? Let me see how what they're going to do with that. You mean Omega's not going to work that New Japan style anymore and he's going to work a WWE style? Let me tune in and watch and see that. Do something different. Is what they're doing right now it's already peaked. It's not going to go higher. AEW could use some freshening up. They could use some actual interesting stories to tell. And they have yet to really tell any interesting stories the past year or two with any member of the elite. This will be a damn good time to pull one out. I'm just saying.